welcome back to the today's class today we are going to see about construction and working of bipolar junction transistors which is shortly known as BJTs so the physical part view of a transistor will look like this bipolar junction transistors a BJT has a three layers of semiconductor material so in case of a diode is a two layer semiconductor material in case of transistor it is a three layer semiconductor material these layers are arranged either in n p n sequence or in p n p sequence so uh, this is the NPN sequence which is being arranged and this is the PNP sequence here uh, actually there are two classifications in a bipolar junction transistor based on the sequence of arrangement these two are NPN transistors and PNP transistors both have their own advantages and applications here uh, NPN transistors you may see the P junction is in the center and the N junction is on both sides. In the PNP junction transistors, here N junction is present at the center and P junction is made on the both sides. So, these are the schematic symbol representations of the transistors. So, this represents NPN transistors. For easy identification, you can see the arrowhead from the emitter terminal is pointing outside this is known as NPN transistor whereas here you can see the emitter arrow is in the inverse direction so this represents it is a PNP transistors transistors have two PN junctions connected back to back so you may know a diode has a PN junction but a transistor has PN junction and another one PN junction which are being connected back to back to form a NPN or PNP junction transistors. The center layer is called the base. So this one the P terminal or the center one which is present here is the base and the outer layer is called emitter and collector. So this is the same thing for PNP also. You may know this center one is known as base terminal and the other two terminals are known as emitter and collector. The basic operation is that a small current in the base region can control the emitter to collector current. So in case of operation of the transistors a very smaller amount of current which is flowing into the P terminal of the NPN transistor can control the total current flowing in the NPN transistors. Similarly, the amount of current flowing in the base of the PNP transistors can control the amount of current flowing from emitter to collector terminal of the PNP transistors. A transistor can be used as a current or voltage amplification circuit. So the basic application of these transistors are they are being used in current or voltage application circuits and in most of the electronic devices which are being used to amplify the signals. Transistor emitter is heavily doped, base is lightly doped and collector is less heavily doped than the emitter. So DOP represent adding of impurities into the pure silicon material. In case of emitter, more amount of impurities is being added in the emitter region. Whereas in the base region, the impurities added are very less. When considering the collector region, less amount of impurities is added than the emitter region. So the emitter region has more number of impurities when considering with the collector region. Base region has very lesser number of impurities. Next we are going to see about the working of NPN transistors. 
for a transistor to work it has to be biased by applying external voltage with proper polarities so to work to start the operation of a transistor you need to supply a external voltage into the transistor to make it work npn transistor starts working when the emitter base junction is forward biased and collector base junction is reversed bias so this is the symbol of the transistor and you know this is a npn transistor because the emitter arrow head is pointing outwards so in this case this is the emitter and opposite to this terminal will be the collector and the remaining one terminal will be the base region so you you can see these things that the emitter base junction is in forward biased and collector base junction is in reversed biased this represent the emitter and base junctions which are present here are in forward biased which represents the p terminal of the base is being connected with the positive terminal of the battery and the n terminal of the emitter is being connected with the negative terminal of the battery so the emitter base junction is represented in forward biased when considering the collector base junction you may say the collector region is n so the n terminal that is the collector terminal is being connected with the positive polarity of the battery and the base region which is p type is being connected with the negative terminal of the battery so the collector base junction is in reverse bias so vbe will give a forward bias to the emitter base junction of the transistor and vcb will give a reverse bias to the common base junction of the transistors the forward bias of emitter base junction reduces the width of the depletion region similarly the reverse bias of the collector base junction increases the width of the depletion region so inside the transistor you may see this is the n type material and this is the p type material and this is the again n type material so this n type material is going to act as emitter and this p type is going to act as a base and again this n type material is going to act as a collector so in this case you may see the emitter base region present here is in forward biased and the collector base region present here is in reverse biased so what happens here is why this is in such a way the emitter base junction which is present here reduces the depletion region whereas the collector base region starts to increase the depletion region due to this applying of vbe voltage and vcb voltage the emitter base junction is a forward bias electron is the majority charge carriers would flow from emitter to the base region so since the vbe is present in forward biased you may see in the n type materials electron is the majority charge carriers so these electrons start to be pulled in due to the polarity of the vbe present here this causes the electron to move from the emitter region into the base region base is lightly doped so only less number of holes are present since you may know the base region is very lightly doped so there will be only lesser number of holes so this causes the electrons only few electrons to combine that is two percentage of electron from the emitter will recombine with the holes in the base region due to this applied vbe voltage in the forward biased junction of the base and emitter this causes the electrons in the n type material to flow into the base 
when the base is being lightly doped there will be only fewer number of holes due to only lesser number of holes only two percentage of the electrons which starts to flow from the emitter towards the base gets recombined in the base region due to the reverse bias of collector base junction causes expansion of the depletion region so in this side you may know this is present in the reversed biased mode this causes the expansion of the depletion region due to this expansion of the depletion region the width of the base region is thinner than the collector region because you are applying a forward bias voltage in the emitter base junction this causes the electrons which is the minority charge carriers present in the end terminal of the emitter starts to flow into the base region since the base region is lightly doped what happens here is the lesser number of holes is present in the base region so only 2% of electrons which are coming out from the emitter region are captured by the base region the remaining electrons are attracted by the vcb battery voltage because it is in reverse bias this causes the electrons to be attracted inside the collector region due to this effect the depletion region becomes thinner so depletion region will penetrate deep into the base region because of this effect you may see the electron starts from the emitter region penetrate the base region and enter into the collector region the electron from the emitter region will arrive near the collector base depletion region so once these electrons crosses the base region and arrives near the uh, collector base depletion region due to the collector base bias voltage that is the vcb bias voltage the electrons will be pulled across the collector base junction by the positive terminal of the collector battery so this positive terminal of the collector battery will pull all the electrons which accumulate near the collector base junction region due to its own potential collector thus collects 98% of the electrons emitted by the emitter so once you are starting from here your 100% of electrons are moving towards the collector region through the base region because of this forward potential due to some holes present in here base region only 2% of electrons get attracted in the base region others go and settle in the collector and base junction due to this battery which is in reverse voltage or reverse bias increases or attracts the electrons which is settled here so that the electrons are mentoring into the base terminal this causes the electric current to flow from emitter terminal towards the base terminal and through the collector terminal the amount of charge carriers crossing the emitter base is controlled by the base emitter voltage so while you are adjusting this base emitter voltage the electrons which are crossing this base region can be controlled so this is why we are using the transistor for amplification purpose emitter collector current levels can be controlled by the base emitter bias voltage the direction of the current flow from the emitter current ie and the base current ib and the collector current ic is shown opposite to the direction of flow of charge carriers so you may represent the charge carriers flow direction in this way but you may see the original current that is the natural current which is flowing from ic is in this direction towards the ie direction so the current direction of emitter ie is shown 
and the current direction of IC is shown and the current direction of IB is shown but the majority charge carriers or electrons are moving in the opposite direction of the conventional current. For silicon transistors, current will start flowing from 0.7 volt in VBE and similarly for germanium, transistor currents will start flowing from 0.3 volt in VBE. So uh, this is the basics, silicon transistors will start conducting at 0.7 volt, you already know because you have studied the diode. And similarly for germanium, it is 0.3 volt. Next we are going to see about the working of PNP junction transistors. PNP transistors works on the same way as the NPN transistors except the majority charge carriers in the PNP transistor is holes. In NPN transistors you have been studying about the majority charge carriers or the electrons but in PNP transistors they are holes except other operations are similar. The biasing is same as that of NPN transistor. The emitter based junction is in forward biased and the collector based junction is in reverse biased. So this is the schematic of the PNP junction transistor and you can see this is the emitter terminal which is being represented by the arrow which is entering into the base. And similarly the other end is the collector terminal and this is the base terminal of the transistors. So you may see the emitter base junction is in forward biased and the collector base junction is in reverse bias. The majority charge carriers from emitter are the holes. So uh, in NPN transistors you may see these charge carriers or the electrons but in PNP transistors the majority charge carriers are holes. A small percentage of holes entering emitter region recombine with the electrons in the base region. So you may see due to this forward condition in the emitter base region the holes starts to enter into the base region and only 2% of the holes will recombine in the base region because there will be only a fewer amount of electrons present in the base region. And the 98% of holes crosses the base collector barrier potential because they are attracted by the negative terminal of the base collector bias voltage. Since you may know the 100% of electrons moving towards this direction will be attracted by the base collector bias voltage and this is the negative terminal. So this reverse biased negative terminal voltage will attract all the holes present near the depletion region of the junction of the collector and base. So the holes which are depositing here starts to attract by this voltage of VCB. This causes the amount of holes starts from flowing from the emitter region towards the base region and enters into the collector region. Holes are emitted from the P-type emitter across the forward biased emitter base junction. Only few of the holes find electrons in the base region to recombine. Others are attracted by the reversed biased collector base junction. So you may say the total number of holes which are present in the emitter region starts to move towards the base collector region due to only some amount of electrons present in the base region due to lightly doped only 2% of electron find its pair present in the base region remaining 98% of electron start to deposit near the junction of the base and the collector that is the depletion junction due to this base and collector region is in reverse bias. This negative terminal of the battery will attract all the holes into the collector region. So this causes the holes to flow from the emitter region towards the collector region. By varying the forward bias voltage at the base, emitter junction can be controlled. Large emitter current 
through the small variation of base current. So by controlling the amount of base current flowing inside the base of the PNP transistor, you may control the amount of holes entering from the emitter towards the collector. So by controlling the base current, it is a very small amount of control in base current will control a large amount of emitter collector current thus by controlling the device. So today we have seen about the working of NPN transistor, PNP transistor and their constructions. Thank you.